My name is Robin Tran, and I am transgender, and that is a uh, coincidence. <laughs> um, <laughs> someone always said I transitioned for one pun, and that's not why I did it. <laughs> um, I get asked a lot of annoying questions about my transition. I get asked a lot about the surgery. I'm so sick of people asking me if I'm gonna get the surgery. Cause look, I don't know what you think I have underneath my dress, but I'll tell you what I don't have is a hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, one thing I don't like about being, about being transgender is that uh, people want me to be some kind of hero for the cause. They want me to be brave, and uh, I don't want to be any of that shit. <laughs> I just want to be a shitty transgender woman. That's my goal in life. I just I just want to be a transgender woman who starts shit for no reason, you know? <laughs> Walk into a store and be like, "Excuse me, but why doesn't your women's restroom have any urinals?" You know, it gets really Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's a joke. <laughs> I want to be the first transgender woman in history uh, to get bottom surgery for a bigger penis. So it's... <laughs> Should have grown to that one. That's where you groan. <laughs> um, I came out uh, to my mom, and uh, that was really, really hard, you know. Um, I'm sorry, I mean emotionally it was hard, but it'd be more logistically because she doesn't speak any English and uh, I don't really speak Vietnamese, so it was literally logistically difficult to come out to my mom. We're sitting in the car one day and I just go, uh, Mom, in Vietnam, do they have people born boy brain girl? And she goes, what? Born boy, brain girl. And she goes, okay, I don't know. Sometime. And I go, okay, me, that. And she goes, no. I go, yes, mom. She goes, no, you not girl, you boy. And I'm like, mom, boy, girl. And she goes, no, you boy, you lucky because boy is good and girl is bad. <laughs> and I go, why? And she goes, I don't know. <laughs> this has gone on for like 45 minutes. Born boy, boy, we're just yelling at each other. Eventually I get through to her a little bit and she goes, okay, I understand, but to me, I still see you as boy. And I go, Okay, mom, you see me as boy. I sad, I kill myself. <laughs> and she goes, oh, you girl. I'm like, yes, mom, exactly. Man, I hope no one steals that joke. The next Vietnamese transgender comedian is gonna come out. Speaking of suicide, um, I did not think that was gonna get a laugh, but um, honestly, so I actually thought about uh, suicide uh, for almost every day for like 25 years. I thought about killing myself almost every day, and then two years ago, I uh, found the right doctor and the right medication, and uh, I'm cured. I have not thought about suicide for two years now. No depression. It's the greatest thing. It's actually, it's really, it's sincerely the best thing that's ever happened to me. Um, the only downside is that this means that 2020 is the greatest year of my life. <laughs> And I couldn't tell anyone. 
It was like winning the lottery on 9-11. You know, you can't really, can't celebrate too much. Why are you smiling? I swear to God, it's not that. I, I promise you, it's not that. It's been really a, a weird readjustment period, you know, being depressed my whole life and then not depressed anymore. I feel like depression is like a friend that is like holding on to me, you know, and it won't let go because it's like, come on, Robin, we're friends. I'm like, no, depression, get off me. I can't be with you anymore. Come on, Robin, let's just smoke weed and watch professional wrestling for nine hours again. Come on, <laughs> please, let's do it. No, depression, I can't watch wrestling anymore. I've watched all of it. I've watched all of wrestling. Come on, let's just, let's just jack off at four in the afternoon and take a nap. Come on, it's fine. We can do it. No, depression, get off, get off. No, Robin, Robin, no. Depression. And I'm like, oh my God, oof. Oh, depression's finally gone. I can finally breathe. I can finally relax. And then I hear, psh, psh. I'm like, Who, who's that? Is that depression? It's like, hey, it's me, it's ambition. I'm sorry, Ambition. I don't think I don't think we've ever met before. What do you uh, What do you What do you want? You gotta do something with your fucking life, Robin. What did you just say to me? I gotta do something with my life. You're 35 years old, Robin. You gotta do something with your life. Ambition? Can I kill you too? Yeah, but if you kill me, then depression comes back. I'm like, oh, great. All right, Ambition. What do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? It's like, I don't know, I'm ambition. I'm not direction. I'm like, oh. Thank you. That's, uh... Um, I am uh, Vietnamese, and I must say that I do not like Vietnam War movies that are made by Americans. I hate all the Vietnam War movies. Born on Fourth of July, Platoon. You know why I hate them? Because they just use like dead Vietnamese bodies as like a prop to show how sad some white guy is. You know what I'm talking about? Like I'm watching like one of these Vietnam War movies. It's a village of just slaughtered Vietnamese children. Like just the worst shit you've ever seen. And it goes right to an up close of like Tom Cruise's sad face. <laughs> and he's crying. And you're supposed to watch it and go, oh my God, poor Tom Cruise. <laughs> is Tom Cruise okay? <laughs> and I'm watching that going like, that looked like my fucking niece. Is she okay? She looked, she looked dead. Can we go back to seeing if my niece is dead, you Oscar-winning movie? Can you imagine if we did that shit to white people? If there was a movie of just a sea of dead white children, and it shows up close to some Vietnamese guy's face, and he just goes, yikes. Ooh. Oh, uh, before I go, I must say that I, I came out as a, uh, I came out six years ago, and I gotta be honest with you guys, being a girl fucking sucks and I shouldn't have done it. Uh, <laughs> went from being a chubby dude to a fat bitch overnight, you know what I mean? So, I'm Robert Turner, everyone. Thank you so much. Have a good night. Thank you.